Alrighty, so I had a request to go over my printers here and kind of, I guess, describe a little bit about my favorite machines. So um, as you can see, I have four machines here. Uh, V02, that's a Voron V02. This was formerly an Ender 3 V2, converted over to a Voron switch wire. This was formerly an Ender 5 Pro, converted over to a Mercury 1.1 with Hydra. And then the final machine is a Voron 2.4 build. So I'm kind of can't really consider this one yet because it's not complete so it's not in printing form um, so out of these three I would honestly say this little machine this is probably my favorite machine there's a number of reasons behind that so the speeds I can get and the quality I can get out of these parts in fact this machine every single part on this machine was printed on itself um, initially I did get an ABS kit for it um, when I got the initial printer but then I reprinted everything and customized it further with the machine itself from there this little machine has printed this machine essentially other than the larger components like a lot of these parts initially they were printed out of pet g and uh, they are printed on that machine but then as i built this machine now that i had an enclosed machine to do abs and things like that i then just printed everything on this machine to upgrade it further further to that this little machine also printed all these parts uh, again other than the skirts and things like that um and i think i don't remember if i printed these arms on there um, it's been a little while since i did that but you know what truth is too with this one all these little components most of the little stuff that was printed on this little machine so the reason why i think that this is my favorite printer uh, again is the speed and accuracy of it uh, for the small form factor it's a 120 by 120 by 120 build volume it heats up so fast. Um, a lot of these other machines, this one, I have to heat soak it for a bit, um, let it get up to temp. And this one, it just takes little to no time because it's such a small volume inside of there. Accessibility is extremely easy for this machine. Has a top hat that flips up, has a door that opens up, and you know it works just quite well um, i removed some of the weight off the tool head uh, going to the bowden style setup so that really aids in uh, reducing the resonance of this tool head and just overall it's a fantastic machine it works so well um, it's a little bit different than my other machines because this one doesn't actually utilize a probe um, it's just set based on a Z height offset and then based on that I can just adjust it up like a 0 0.01 0 0.02 whatever it may need of a millimeter here and there this one uses an induction probe this one uses the clicky probe at the back here and this one will use the Sabor Eddy style probe and uh, yeah so I, I have a few other probes like a BL touch and all those other things I've tried a bunch of different ones um, but for how small this one is I really don't need a probe in there um, because it's just like the build volume isn't huge, so you're not going to get a bunch of deviation on the uh, the build plate there. So, yeah, I would ultimately say that this is my favorite machine. Um, I've had it for ooh, probably, I think it's been a year and a half now. Um, and in that time, it's seen quite a few changes, but uh, this is the current state it's in, and I really like it. So hopefully that gives you a bit more information. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions, you can always ask. Cheers.